Hey, hey, welcome to the Summit Host Hangout Podcast, where you'll learn how to plan, strategize, and launch your profitable online summit, no influencer status necessary. I'm your host, Krista from Summit in a Box, and we're currently in a series about your summit's registration process. Today in episode 33, we're breaking that down to chat about what to include on your summit's registration page. Since we're bringing in an expert in episode 34 to cover mistakes to avoid and things like that, we're going to keep this one nice and simple with a list of the most important pieces. And so you don't have to scribble down notes or try to remember everything while you're driving, doing dishes, at the gym, enjoying your walk, whatever, I have a freebie for you that outlines all 19 of the pieces we're going to talk about today. Inside of the 19 keys to a high converting registration page cheat sheet, you'll find a checklist of each important piece to include for easy access, plus details on each item. So get that by going to summithosthangout.com slash registration. Before we dive into the things to include on your registration page, I just really quickly want to mention why giving your registration page a little extra attention is so important. Your summit's registration page is responsible for convincing people that your event is worth their time and money. If it misses the mark, they are not going to sign up and they certainly are not going to buy. So rather than focusing on the fact that it's a summit, we are going to focus on these 19 items. So let's start with those now. We're going to start off really nice and simple. And the first thing to include on your registration page is your summit's name. You're probably like saying, duh, wondering if you should turn off this episode. Just hang with me. I'm sure this seems really obvious, but include the name of your summit at the top of your registration page. This can be either in the form of a logo or in plain text, but ideally your summit's name will speak directly to your target audience and give them a strong hint of what the event is about. It doesn't necessarily have to have the word summit in the name, but it should be something descriptive that really catches your audience's attention. After that, it's really important to have a really strong and attention-grabbing tagline. You can use this tagline not only on your registration page, but also throughout your summit marketing materials, in your social media graphics, in your emails, all of that good stuff. But this is your chance to go a couple steps further than your summit's name in explaining what your summit is all about, who it's for, and what the goal is for them. And if you haven't yet, if you're, if the name of your summit does not have the word summit in it, this is where you want to make that really clear. But I really like using a tagline because it takes less, it takes some pressure off of your summit's name. Your summit's name can be short and attention grabbing, maybe a little catchy, and your tagline can take it a step further and do a little bit more describing. Right after that, I really like to see dates of a summit. Making those dates easy to find at the top of the page as well as in the section lower down the page about the details is just giving, setting expectations right away, helping your people thinking about registering know when it is, and it's going to remove that question from their mind. Even if the dates don't necessarily matter, it's still going to be something they're wondering about. Including them right at the top is an easy way to pull that question from their mind and help them focus on what you're trying to tell them and get across through your copy on the page. The next thing I want to make sure you include are multiple call to action buttons. Very, very clear call to action sign up buttons for the free summit. Avoid having just one at the top of the page or mixing buttons that lead to your all access pass with the ones that sign attendees up for your free event, which can get really confusing fast. We talked about that in episode 32 when we talked about your registration process. So check that out if you need to. But for this step, you just want to have these clear, simple call to action buttons to sign up for your summit sprinkled all throughout. Error on the side of having too many rather than not having enough. I also want you to have a welcome video. A really quick welcome video, ideally two minutes or less, can really work wonders for warming up your cold audience that will be sent to you from your speakers and affiliates. The more you can show your face throughout the event, the better. And this is a great place to start. And you can actually get my full registration page video script inside of the Summit Host Vault and inside of registration page in a box. So I'll include links to those in the show notes in case you do want a script for this. I know some of you listening are like, oh no, no way I'm having a video of myself on this registration page, but it is very worth it to get over your fear and connect with your new audience members from the very second they land on your website. And like I said, I will make it easy for you. I'll give you scripts, all that stuff. You could even see my video from my 2019 summit, which is terrible. And that might help you feel a little bit better about yourself. 
After that welcome video, I want you to include your pain points of your target audience. Where so many summit hosts go wrong on their registration page is focusing on the fact that it's a summit rather than writing copy that's more like a sales page. Hitting your audience's pain points is the first step to really avoiding that mistake. So you're going to highlight the big issues they're struggling with related to your summit's topic so that the next piece puts the value of your event into perspective. They're recognizing where they're struggling. So then when you identify the solution, they know that it's something that they'll benefit from. And with that being said, the next thing you want to include are the benefits your summit will deliver. And you want this in several different places throughout your registration page. And this is where you're going to highlight the benefits attendees will receive from taking part in your event. So what pressing issues or pain points will be solved for them? How will their life or business be improved? The more specific you can give in your examples, the better. Even if it's so specific that not everyone would feel it, they're still going to be able to relate to those specific examples better than they would with something really vague. So then after you've covered the pain points and the benefits, you'll be able to cover the transformation, which is our next step here. You're going to tie the pain points and the benefits together to illustrate the transformation attendees will, will achieve by participating in your summit. And this kind of brings it all for full circle. It says, okay, here are my pain points. Oh, these benefits would be great. And then, oh, this can happen for me too. That's what that transformation piece does. So after you have them convinced that this is something they're excited about and they want to participate in, that is when you start focusing on the fact that it's a summit a little bit. So you're going to start by setting your summit apart from the rest. So keep in mind, there are a lot of summits out there. There's more popping up all the time. Why should your audience care about yours and set aside several days in their calendar to attend it? Make that crystal clear, whether it's the fact that there aren't any others for your specific audience, whether it's you're focusing on a very specific pain point, whether you're doing something different than a lot of other summits, pull out whatever it is and put it on your registration page. If you do not have something like that that you can feature, it's time to rethink, go back to the beginning, rethink your strategy a little bit and make sure you have something like that that will really make you stand out. After that is when you can start giving information about your speakers. So highlight your speakers on your registration page because it's really great for a couple of reasons. First, it's good social proof and each individual presentation topic is another chance to convert somebody thinking about signing up. So they might not be interested in, in the overall idea of the summit, but then they see one specific presentation that they really want to learn about, boom, they decide to sign up. So in this section, you want things like your speaker's headshots, names, and their presentation titles. That's all you need. Don't include a whole bunch of information. You have other places on your website you can go into more detail. The point here is to get that social proof and show presentation titles that are going to get people excited. Next, after your speakers should be a section about you or before, I don't mind the ordering. But yes, you do need to have a section about yourself. Include a picture and a one to two paragraph bio just sharing what you do, who you are, and why you're passionate about the way your summit will help your attendees. Do not forget this. Again, this is another important piece just like the video where you're introducing new audience members to you and even just showing your face does a lot for social proof. It makes you more trustworthy to everybody. So you want to have that piece here. Around those sections is also where you can include details about how the summit is accessed. So even though it's going to seem very clear to you that it's a virtual summit all online, a lot of people will wonder whether it's in person or online. So clarify in a small section with the important details about your summit where it is accessed. Make that really nice and clear so people don't have to wonder or search or ask. Along with that, you'll share what to expect. So give people a little information on things like how long the presentations will be. How many presentations will there be each day? Will there be a chat box or worksheets? Like anything that will add value to your summit, include that here in the section about what to expect. Every little detail is going to get someone closer to wanting to sign up. Right underneath that, you'll have included extras. So if you have any fun extra things as a part of your summit, include details as additional selling points. So examples of this are things like an attendee-only Facebook group or a private community, some kinds of bonus trainings that you might do, the option to purchase the all-access pass. Again, we are not pitching right here or linking to it, but let them know they have the option to purchase it because that will come after they sign up. But include extra things like that, just a small, short 
compact section on your registration page to add even more excitement. The next thing I always like to include when you can are testimonials. Testimonials are so powerful for social proof when you have so much cold traffic hitting your registration page. If you've never hosted a summit before, you can use testimonials from past events, challenges, maybe clients that touch on the results you are, you've created for others that relate to your summit. Otherwise, if you don't have anything like that, you can use just start adding testimonials to the page as people start saying great things about your event. So don't worry if you can't include it now, you can always add it later. I know I'm throwing a lot at you here. We only have four left. The next thing uh, is frequently asked questions. So include a FAQ section that clears up any details you think your audience might be wondering about. As you get emails with questions, add them to your FAQ section. If you get questions in your Facebook group, add those as well. I like to touch on things like whether the presentations are live or pre-recorded, if all speakers are getting the email addresses of people who sign up, how long videos will be, be available, stuff like that. Kind of the standard things are what you can start with, and then if you start seeing questions repeat, add those as well. And then three smaller details are the last things we have here. First is legal information. So just like with any page on your website, be sure to include a link to your terms and conditions and your privacy policy. If you're sharing email addresses with your speakers in any way, you really need that privacy policy. It's really important, but really you, you need it anyways. Then you're going to have a way for people to log in. So if you're selling an all access pass, include a link for those who have already purchased to log in and access it easily. For most of us, our registration page ends up being the homepage of our summit's website. So you don't want them to go searching for a link to your all access pass. I don't like to have a menu in my header on my registration page because I want people focused on the page copy. So I include my login link all the way at the bottom in the footer. And then last is information for sponsors. If you're working with sponsors, include details about them as you've agreed upon in your contract, whether it's a logo you know, at the top or a specific section that highlights them and what they do. Make sure you include that information on them if it's something you've agreed to. I know this was a lot of information, and like I said, that's why I created this cheat sheet for you. If you don't have that, you'd be sitting and scribbling notes. If you did that, you're awesome. But be sure to go grab that cheat sheet so you can create your high converting registration page. As for action steps, go to summithosthangout.com slash registration to grab that cheat sheet. As a little spoiler, if you sign up for the cheat sheet, you'll get a special offer for my registration in a box product, which has a copy template, website template, and video script for everything we talked about today, which is going to make this work really easy on you. Thank you so much for tuning in. For show notes and resources mentioned, head to summithosthangout.com slash 033. In the next episode, we'll be chatting with launch copywriter Ellie Runkles about the most important parts of your summit's registration page and email sequence, so be sure to tune in for that. Now go out and take action to plan, strategize, and launch your profitable